Well, it started five years ago, and it started with what we originally saw as, as a very big project for, for Auckland and a very big project for Woods Glass to be associated with. It started off with a little bit of, is this too big for us? But then when we got the team together and says, well, this is something that we've all come to get to in our careers, we're going to tackle it. Absolute no doubt that this project set out to be world class right from the outset. From a design perspective, what you set out to do is create these moments that people sort of stop and go, wow, that's, that's incredible. To achieve that, you need the best design team and then you also need the best people to be able to deliver the type of product that we want to deliver and that effectively has no structure. The ground floor entry to the tower is truly a remarkable space. Woods Glass was engaged on the Commercial Bay project for design, engineering and testing in 2016 and began installation works on the podium in February 2018. Works at the Custom Street West lobby entrance to the tower commenced in January 2020. Early on, the, the biggest challenges were the tolerances in something that size. Almost the whole engineering team were out here to, to witness testing, which puts a bit of pressure on myself to make sure that everything goes on time. We had one shot at getting the test right and understanding that the design was going to work. When we tested the structure in the booth, we had to overcome the issues of actually taking a structure that we were able to build out in the fresh air and the open outside in our test booth to something that had to be installed within the constraints of site. But the problem is with glass, it's a brittle material. So when it fouls, it fouls catastrophically. We counteract that by building up layers of redundancy and, and factors of safety within the various layers of the glass that we add to the structure. But there's always that worry when you see the, the 2,000 kilo concrete block that you're about to hang off of a five metre cantilevering beam. There's always that trepidation that have we covered every base and we thought of every eventuality. This is sort of a once in this type of work. I mean, anywhere in the world, not just in New Zealand. So if we didn't do this type of work, we would just be average, and we don't accept average. We've uh, been down here for two and a half years now on this project, which is probably one of the larger glass projects ever been done in New Zealand. So it's been a huge operation for Woods Glass down here. But we've come to the business end of the project now, which is uh, the street lobby. What we're doing here is we're integrating a stainless steel canopy rafter into a glass fin. Now that canopy is solely going to be held up by the glass fin. When we did our due diligence looking for product around the world and different suppliers, they hadn't seen anything done like this before with a live load on the structural fin. Part of the pre-production planning was how we're actually going to build these things in the factory. What we designed was a purpose-made bench, which is what you see behind us here. So we've got the staging area where we put the individual panels of glass before we inspect them and clean them. So these particular fins we can make as one piece and deliver to site as one piece. The guys are now securing the fin inside the case for its 5k journey to, to the CBD where it will be unloaded and, and be lifted onto site. Steve Pearson worked with our engineering department and our fabrication shop and came up with the Slygeen bogey that enabled us to assemble the fin outside and then slide it back underneath the fixing line. We've got our assembly jig here. We stand up this assembly jig over in front of where the fin is going to be located and we basically slot the pieces of glass into this jig. The reason for that is we need something to hold all the glass in place while we put the stainless steel rafter in and from there we put the glass splice plates over which clamps everything in place. So inside this crate we've got the glass fin. The glass fin is 12 and a half metres high. It's 70 mil thick. It's made up of seven laminations of glass. Total fin will weigh 1.6 ton. So it's a serious piece of kit. So the installation process of sticking these fins in has to be pinpoint accurate. Uh, heights have to be perfect uh, for everything to line up. There's been a lot of people involved in this process to get it to this point and everyone has played their part in the jigsaw.
Yeah, the canopy was the was the final stretch in the in the operation really. So there was certainly some sleepless weeks leading up to the to the installation starting. You know, as the day evolved, um, luckily enough things went really smoothly. Basically setting the project out millimetre perfect, we were able to ensure that the canopy bolted onto the stainless steel rafters perfectly. My understanding is that this has never been done before anywhere in the world and so to have a group of businesses that are so keen to support the design aspiration and so keen to deliver on that, we're, we're really lucky to have Woods Glass who are able to take on this project and build a glass uh, lobby with no structure and uh, create something that is you know, incredible and really does reflect the quality of the building. So I guess what's, uh, what's really pleasing is the, um, the resultant execution has been so close to our Aboriginal design vision. The simplicity that you see here is the, is the result of uh, countless hours of technical work by a large team of people. I think the, the building is um, of an international quality that Auckland hasn't really seen before. And I think um, this lobby is an example of that. It's an achievement for everyone that's been involved in the project to construct a project such as this, and it feels fantastic. I have always have had a bit of a, a saying, you know, glass is the best known building product to mankind. And uh, what we're doing with it now actually stuns me. So we can tackle anything, bring it on. Um, yeah, bigger the better, I suppose. Like at the end of the day, everyone was excited to be a part of a once in a career type project. And that required a lot of sacrifice. Um, not only from the guys but from their families as well to allow them to be away late in the night and on weekends and public holidays. So um, the boss says pressure makes diamonds and I think there's a few VS ones around this place.